you won't have to come outside, bro. You won't have to come outside, bro. What? Can we get a round of applause, everybody, for my washed hair? I didn't realize there was so much drama around food delivery. When I saw a clip recently that went viral that a man in Toronto, he was filming it and he was flipping out on a like a food delivery man bringing his food to him. And I was like, is this a thing? Why are people so rude? So we're checking that out. There's a lot of drama and some arguments and confrontation over people receiving their freaking food. I'm confused. It's food. Where's the drama in that? We're about to find out. Cheers. I hope you're having a good day. I got cucumber water in my cup. This is your reminder. I care about you and you need to hydrate because it's good for you. So drink your water. Live here. So I lived here they, for seven years and I don't like your <laughs> phone either. Okay, how do I do this? Well, that's okay, unnecessary. Uh, press pound right, one, one, one zero and see if it buzzes. This is crazy. Yeah, what, what, what's, can what's you, up with you? Can you back hey, away you? from me? You're my son. I'm not you talking to you anymore. I'm not going to talk basketball. to you. That's cool. Yeah, good. This guy's a neighbor. Cool. I see him all the time. That's great. I've never seen you in my life. Because I don't live here. Look, look, look at some. I can see you. In, I wasn't no, talking to you. Phone's looking at me as well. As well. I, Just I in case you try to call the cops or something person. and tell them I don't one know thing, that. You and it's not phones. that. How would you like me to go? You're like this. You can't do anything without him. Do you? you carry a little phone around. This? You, you can't do anything. What are you doing right now? Like, why are you? Is this? Sh is she literally taking the time out of her day to lecture this person about? Oh, your generation always carrying a phone. Blah blah. blah. Ma'am, go inside. Go home. Enjoy your day. What are you wasting your time with me for? Fuck I just don't understand. Like, you're crazy. Okay. Hey, I have one too. You like Galaxy? <clears throat> no, it's an Android. Yeah, Android. Paul. Yeah, but you know, Here, I'm Paul. Not him I'm buzz. No, 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 I buzz, I buzz. No, he's not going to be buzzed in. No, I just want to get <gasps> your food. Yeah, just get your food. Thank you, Paul. And even after the customer says, no, no, I buzzed him. I buzzed him to come in. He's my food delivery. She's like, no, he's not getting buzzed in. Oh, Karen, Karen, Karen acting like the property manager over here. This woman said that her DoorDash never arrived after I delivered it to the hospital she works in full of cameras. So you know I had to go back. Damn guys, we got some tea in today's video. You're welcome for providing. Oh my God, I'm so anxious waiting for this confrontation to happen. Excuse me, is Chris still on the clock? Who? Chris K. Uh, I don't know who that is. Okay. Do you know what office you're looking at? There she is. Mm. Hello. So you didn't get the DoorDash order? I'm sorry? You didn't get the DoorDash order from earlier? I, she, she even okay. saw you with the what food. I mean, okay. you guys have cameras here. You said the order never arrived. What do you mean? So why does it say that the customer says the order never arrived? I don't know. Okay. They couldn't make it for him. And were you just trying to get free food and put my job on the line? Okay, well, we're, we got to figure something out because oh, it says the customer right says there. the order never arrived and I so got a contract mortified. violation. Gotcha. I'm an independent yeah. contractor. Yeah, it's with okay. the So uh, that puts my job at risk. Assistant. The physician's so assistant. So we're going to have to call DoorDash support off your phone because I wasn't the one that said the order never arrived. It's on, it's an on your side of things. What? I did it online, but... Uh, you, it doesn't just randomly happen magically. You have to get a hold of DoorDash support directly to say that the order never arrived. Okay. Um, it's a shared account, so it might be yeah, something that somebody else did accidentally. Here. I would have to talk to them. Okay, well, but we're going to... currently at work. Yeah, I'm currently at work, too, and now my job's at risk. Shared account. Yeah, right. Happened by accident. You actually have to go through and write, like, a whole report and, like, everything about how your food didn't arrive and stuff. So I'm not... I don't know about how that happens on accident, but we'll entertain that, I guess. Because of... I don't know. I, she said your boyfriend's name is Chris. She said she saw you with the food. So you, you got the food earlier, right? You down here, sir? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, yeah, first you, I didn't do anything. Okay. I think I'm in the right place. 
Okay, well, I could have used the wrong card and he refunded it. It wasn't, it wasn't, you can't refund it. It's you, you reported the order as never arrived. There's no refund about that. Well, maybe, I mean, there is a refund if you don't get your order, I think, for your food. But that's the point of that is people don't get, like, my job's at risk. I can't just give you free food and sweep it under the rug like it's not how it works like i have a job too i have five kids i gotta feed like it's not i get that but i didn't do it so I mean, I well i understand so can we pull okay, the phone out and figure out yeah right let's okay so, but you got the food earlier yes okay all right i'm not, I'm not I didn't do it, so I'm not gonna okay. say it. amount of excuses, man. Oh, it's hard to watch someone's like job be on the line and they will still just not, they'll just keep the ego rather than just say like, you know what, yeah, I messed up. I will go back there, I'll make the phone call, I'll make sure you don't lose your job. I apologize, she's obviously embarrassed. There's customers, she's at work, she's making all kinds of excuses, but I'm not buying it. I don't know about you guys, but I, I, I think it's guilty. What is this guy doing? What? Is, he's eating he's the pizza? pizza? And he's just eating a slice of the pizza. What? What's he doing here? Is he trying to make it smaller? <gasps> he's, he's cutting Shut the pieces up. out of it. Wow. Why? Oh. Oh my god. He's trying to make it smaller so he can put it back together without anybody noticing. I'm never going to trust a pizza ever that again. That's sneaky. Yeah, he's the pizza delivery guy. He's eating an entire slice himself. <laughs> yeah, but look at the it's slices. They're so all true, sliced all over the place and stuff. Oh, no. I mean, you would never Brilliant. expect this. He's though. now putting the box back together. That is sneaky. Man, and his hands and his knife are all over <laughs> your food. Even tape. I wonder if he's done this before. Yep. Looks like he has. People are just walking by him on the street. He doesn't care. Puts the tape away. Pizza's done. Off to deliver it. That is sneaky. That is so gross to think about. Sir, I would rather buy you a slice of pizza if you're hungry, truly, than have your hands cutting up mine. I'm never gonna trust pizza ever again. I'm gonna be examining every slice. This food delivery driver is furious over the tip she got. I need to speak to you. I don't think you realize where they're coming from, so I need to speak to you. Where what's coming from? The driver who delivers for DoorDash was captured on the homeowner's ring camera. I drove 40 minutes and it was extremely far and I got it to you early. So I don't think you realize where you work from. That's a 15, 20 minute drive. It's you need to try to drive it. I just drove it. It's 40 minutes. Well, we decided to check for ourselves. The restaurant was in Comac, New York. The house was in Smithtown. According to Google Maps, that's a 5.5 mile drive and should take only 12 minutes. I <gasps> you need to adjust your tip to make it right. So, what was the tip? You gave an $8 tip. $8? What are you looking for? That's right, she took the food back. What? So, who was in the right? DoorDash told Inside Edition the actions of the delivery woman were inappropriate oh, and yeah. grounds for deactivation. Eight dollars, I was, like, first of all, I'm thinking it's like maybe one dollar, two dollar, even that, it's a tip lady. Like, tips are, aren't mandatory. It really isn't mandatory. And that's not really how they work. Like, maybe there was traffic and it took you 40 minutes. Uh, not really their problem. They give you an eight dollar tip. I hear I was thinking like, oh, that's a good tip. What are you gonna pay an extra fifteen dollars on top of DoorDash and the delivery fees and everything else? You might as well pick it up yourself. And then she did that just to take the food back. Drove the forty minutes. Could have just left with an eight dollar tip and her job, but instead left with the food, 
no tip and deactivation of her account. So, okay, make and make sense. Uh, I delivered food here yesterday from Chipotle mm -hmm. and you put down Not that again. I didn't deliver it to you. <gasps> Cause I just got, got fired, fired from my job. Yeah, it was you. Oh my God, my heart's breaking. He sounds so sad. He just got fired. That's his only job. This is my only source of income. I do this all day. Now I'm fired from my job because you want your ten dollar burrito? No. Are you out of your mind? Who does this? Who does that? You got me fired. Like I need the corporate number or something because I, I need to get your ass fired. Does anyone have a corporate number? You have one. Oh. All contact DoorDash. Yeah, probably not thinking about the other person on the other end of that. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. All right, you want to say that you got your food? I'll contact them, but... But what? Did you... Did you get your food or what? How are you? Hi. I even called my lawyer. He told me I can call the cops because it's theft. <laughs> it's theft. Are you going to say you got your food or not? Or should I call the cops? Because you, you're stealing. Yeah, yeah, you are stealing. Yeah, who does that? Who f raised your ass? Who raised you? Seriously. You piece of trash. That's what you are. Trash. Are you the Are you the manager? Can I help you? Yeah, I delivered food here yesterday from Chipotle on DoorDash. I DoorDash all day. That's my main source of income. That's all I do. And this girl, I delivered it to her. And then she went on DoorDash and put down the I didn't deliver it here. So then I, this morning I wake up to go DoorDash and I'm fired because of her. Because she said I didn't deliver it. I would never do that. I had it right to her. That's the girl. Is there a corporate number I can call or something? Because you guys have thieves working here. You phone number here. You have thieves working here. Erica? <sighs> that hurts my heart. He's so upset. That's his whole livelihood, man. And all for a $10 burrito. And for her to be like, I'll contact DoorDash and not care, not a I hate this. I hate this. This is going to make me so sad. This better... I don't like how common this is. Don't order food if you can't afford it. Yo, I ordered pizza on DoorDash and this dasher delivered my food and came back and picked it up. What? Oh. Then decide to bring it back after I told her I'm calling the cops and post her on the internet. <gasps> oh my gosh, she just takes a picture to upload on her app, food delivered, and then walks away with it. I know that you took my food. I have you on two cameras. I'm reporting you, calling the cops, and posting you all over the internet. And then she brought it back. I'm still calling the cops. Oh my gosh. I'll be damned. <gasps> oh my gosh, we have it. Whose mama is this? And she does a little nice knock. Here's your food that I just stole. It's not even worth it. If that's your job and your livelihood, why would you even want to risk that? Majority of people have cameras these days. Not to mention, even if they didn't, you still shouldn't be like a sh human. But if I'm being a Karen, please tell me. Majority votes win. Oh, we will tell you. Don't you worry. Okay, somebody tell me that I'm stupid. But this is hot wings, and you want to keep them hot, and you put a dressing which is supposed to be cold. Well, honestly, the kind of cool things down. I got potato skins, sour cream. This is dairy product, seasoned wings, hot wings. The dressing is in the box. Somebody tell me that the dressing should be outside the box, just outside the box. Just, you know, somewhere. What? In a bag, somewhere, make it cold. Sir, so you think that that little thing of dressing that's in the corner of the box is somehow creating, like it's it's creating this cold like shield of air or something to make the hot wings no longer hot. No, come on. He can't be serious. And look how small that is. It's like, it's not like I understand if the cold dressing was poured on top and then your wings would, that would cool down the wings. But they're in a complete, it's in a completely separate container in the corner of the box. Please be on my side on this. Are you guys on the dude's side or my side? 
about the sauce here. DoorDash Karen, oh man, it's all over DoorDash, refuses to give customer his order because he appeared to be intoxicated. Who was wrong? Oh, ordered some booze, did we? That's something that made y'all do it. What's that? That's something that made y'all do it. You've been drinking, we can't give you nah, nah, uh, I mean, you look like you've been drinking, so I like we can't, yeah. What you mean? Oh my god, he went to like grab it in the end. Yikes. Okay, so there's a note here about the comments. This is very conflicted, so I'm actually pretty curious too. Apparently, DoorDash has a rule that if you bring alcohol to someone who is visibly, like you're not supposed to deliver the alcohol to someone who is very drunk. Same way at a bar, you're not gonna serve a very intoxicated person more alcohol because you could be in trouble for that. So they're saying that is a rule, but other people are saying he's not falling over. He's at his own house. He ordered it. He's in his own home, not harming anyone else and that she should have given the order to him. So I'm curious to know what you guys think. I understand not wanting to lose your job over this because God forbid something happened. This video footage is out there that you gave him the alcohol even though he maybe you smelt alcohol on him. I'm curious though what you guys think. That's a tricky one. And it looks like he didn't take it very well. Thank you. Thank you. Just for future reference, drivers live off a of tip. So if y'all don't tip, we don't make money. This is how we feed our families. Oh. You don't make any money but the tip? That's not true. Is that true? I've even talked to Uber drivers, Uber Eats people, because I was curious. I'm like, well, how does that work? How do you get paid? You're not only paid the tip money, but I understand tipping is also important. I get it, but I don't know. That was just really like unprofessional. And I feel like now you're gonna get a bad review and that could just affect your overall job in the end. So it's not even worth it. I wanna know your opinion on tip culture these days. I, it's not mandatory. However, of course I try to tip, you know, tip when you can and tip where you can and how much you can, I understand, but I don't think this is the way to handle it if you don't receive a tip. I drove 28 miles to get here and I had to put gas in the car and you're only gonna give me a $2 tip? $2 tip is good, man. That's not what you're talking about. Bro, 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 now you bugging, bro. $2, what is that, bro? What is that? What? I said, man, you gotta be Nah, bro, I'm not jack. Bro, you gonna have to come outside, bro. You gonna have to come outside, bro. Come on, bro. Like two dollars, bro. Now you gonna have to up this, bro. Come, what, what's two dollars, bro? What's two dollars, bro? What the hell is two dollars? What is that, bro? What is that? What's two dollars? You, you, bro. This, yo, what's up with you, bro? Two dollars? Yeah, that's a good tip. You didn't, bro. I had to go get food for you. You ain't go yourself, bro. Yo, respect the delivery I'm like, person. I respect you, bro, but the food is expensive. I can't give you no more. Bro, so two dollars. Bro, you ain't no. getting your food, bro. Stop two dollars. Two dollars, bro. Yo, no. Is this real? This just got so intense out of nowhere. You know what I'll never understand? If it's not real, who comes up with it? Like, hey, hey, you, you got free time? I want to film this thing on my ring camera. <laughs> like, I'm just, if it's not real, how many takes did that? What did you script it? Did you rehearse? Did you, you know, block it out? How you guys are going to end the scene? I'm just curious. And if it's real, then like they said on the camera, you got to be grateful. And honestly, DoorDash and Uber Eats need to start putting all these, stop putting all these extra charges on it because you order a $10 burrito, it ends up being $25 with the service fee, the delivery fee, the tax, this, there's all these other things. And then by the time you go to tip, people usually don't or whatever, because it's like, I'm spending 15 extra dollars just to use the app. I feel like we can work something out here. So where everyone is happy, you know? Anyways, I'm out of here, you guys. Stay classy out there, stay sassy, and I'll see you tomorrow.